it is time to discuss the long-anticipated, hyped-up, broken toolkit of Rifle Mesmer. That's right, we have Rifle Support Mesmer is fully enabled. Rifle Mesmer's direct allies to the nearest emergency exit. I absolutely love that. What an opening line there. Let's go ahead and get into this. Some pretty exciting stuff here. A bit secretive. I will spoil that. This is quite a secretive one. So, you know, prepare to see the real deal on the stream. But we have got some pretty cool stuff here. So, here we go. So, Rifle is a long-range support weapon packed with healing and tools to help your allies. We have the video playing here. We've got all the pink effects of the rather dapper Mesmer just going crazy uh, all over the place here. And some of these abilities look pretty cool. Uh, we actually have a pretty large AoE, maybe a Blast Finisher too, and that will be relevant for supports. Bear in mind, Relic of Caracosa, so you get an AoE heal on Blast Finisher. Is very, very good as well. And notice that this is a ranged support weapon. So we know that Chronomancer is very likely going to be a powerful healer in the next balance patch. But one of the weaknesses that it actually has is, one, its burst healing might not be quite as good as other healers. It doesn't have barrier access, um, which, you know, a lot of uh, really powerful healers are going to be having over the uh, next couple of patches. And it doesn't have ranged support. And guess what? Rifle is going to be able to help out with all of those things. We have long-ranged healing, we have barrier on this weapon, and we also have some really fun utility in addition to some extra boon access as well. And that range component is really going to help out Chronomancer when it has to go and do mechanics, because a lot of uh, the current iteration and even you know the, the upcoming iteration of heal Chronomancer, a lot of your support is going to be in a relatively small radius around you with limited applicability at a very long range. So Rifle does help to flesh that out a little bit. Now, you could argue that maybe some classes should have certain weaknesses, uh, and like, oh yeah, maybe this healer is really good close range, but not at long range, whereas this one is really good at long range, but has another weakness. I'd actually be kind of inclined to agree with that, funnily enough. However, judging by these weapon proficiencies, and definitely by, by this one, it appears that ArenaNet is not going in that direction. Um, there's almost a little bit of a uh, uh, some insight into the philosophy that ArenaNet has, especially when it comes to supports. It looks like the direction is going to be kind of giving very high access to pretty much everything um, of every bit of utility. So adding barrier to more healers, adding uh, ranged healing to more healers, adding better boon access to healers, um, adding uh, stuff like resistance and you know these kind of more niche utility boons or having some access to a lot of these healers and so on. So let's go ahead and get into it. We've already seen this very exciting video. Look at all the pink. Didn't see the phantasm skill here, by the way, and this will be a bit of a theme. We get a little bit of a tease, but nothing too crazy here. The rifle is a versatile weapon. As an example of its flexibility, skill three, inspiring imagery, allows the Mesmer to throw out a beacon for their allies to rally to that will burst after a delay and grant them might and fury. Great. Very important boons there. And this is relevant, by the way. You do have might and fury on Chronomancer already. By using your shatter skills and, of course, uh, through staff as well. A bit weird on staff, but it's, you know, whatever. Uh, this will be much more consistent. And this is confirmed, by the way, to be this ability. Let's see if we can um, see it here. This kind of orb that's there. Let's say, uh, yeah, uh, hang on. Yeah, this, this. So it's actually a large radius ability. So the boon application here is going to be very solid. And that's ranged, of course, by the way. You can throw that out. So that's also really, really good. When the beacon is detonated early, it will heal instead of granting boons while also damaging enemies. So again, you have this double fasted skill. You can use it uh, as a burst heal, or you can use it for your boon application. There's a bit of DPS there as well. And there's going to be the usual stuff. There's probably confusion here. There's going to be uh, probably just damage on this weapon. So maybe it has some kind of application as a hybrid. This is very lean, very much lean towards support or a utility weapon though, um, in terms of like the skill set here. So yeah, pretty cool skill. And here is the big one. Uh, the weapon gets even more exciting when we look at skill five, singularity shot. You shoot a bullet at a target location. Again, probably a large radius, similar to that beacon uh, that grants barrier and resistance to nearby allies. Really nice skill. A singularity will linger at the impact and it can be collapsed with dimensional aperture. Aperture science, anyone, guys? Here, here we go. The reactivation of skill 5. The collapsed singularity becomes a single-use, one-way portal that an ally can use to teleport to your location. This skill can be powerful a powerful tool to bail out an enemy from a sticky situation with your careful positioning. So this is 1200 range 
barrier for a start and healing, of course, in the third skill. But also, this is a one-way portal. Uh, I think this is going to have some pretty serious use cases in PvP and World vs. World. Very powerful, potentially, to kind of evacuate people from bad situations. Funnily enough, um, as of right now, maybe I just haven't thought about it. I think this is very niche in PvE. Um, you know, because I'd compare this to, say, using a Scourge portal right? Uh, and you don't actually use stuff like that very often, uh, mostly because a big part of what you're trying to do uh, is essentially prevent people from moving in that game, right? You want to move as little as possible. But I think there are some situations where you could, you know, someone's gone out to do a mechanic, you can portal them back in, right? That could happen, like on Matthias or Doom, right? Encounters like that, that have some of that mobility on that. Uh, it's still very powerful just with the barrier and resistance, so that might be kind of the broad use for this here as well. It doesn't work on downstates too, because you, the, the other ability that you can compare this to is transfusion, right? Um, you know, the ability to kind of grab people, the kind of signature move of, say, a heal scourge that allows you to retrieve allies. So this is kind of like, you have to do it before they go downstate. So if someone's likely to go downstate, maybe they're in an AoE, you can hit them with this, it will give them barrier, and then you can port them out before they go downstate. So there is potential to rescue people in this way. Uh, and the way that this skill works is pretty cool. Um, it puts on a portal and when they take it, wherever you are, when they take it is where they end up. So it's not like where you were when you open the portal. The portal always goes to you, wherever you happen to be. Uh, so that means that, you know, if it, you know, you're, you're not going to like troll someone by teleporting them into an AOE unless you keep standing it for whatever reason. So it is a highly usable skill that definitely has some um, high potential power uh, in a lot of situations. I think, well, maybe not a lot of situations, but some, some niche situations. It's, it's a fun skill, a fun skill. We'll have to see how it actually works out. And again, the numbers here are going to be important. Like if that barrier is really strong, then, oh man, it's going to be disgusting, right? Like because heal chrono, having access to loads of good healing, really good boon access, some of the best boon access in the game, in fact. Uh, and of course, all the usual mesmer goodness. Again, you're going to have chrono monster on this, so you can duplicate a lot of these skills. Always remember that, right? You can double up on a lot of these um, when you're in continuum shift. It's going to be really, really interesting to see how this one actually plays out there as well. And definitely a fun skill, definitely a very out there skill. Uh, for sure, if you end up playing this, if there are builds that can use this in PvP, uh, this, I can imagine this being an absolute menace, right? Being able to evacuate a player 1,200 range or even more potentially, that is insane, right? Like the ability to make that level of space is fantastic uh, in some of these game modes or bring them in, right? Like for example, let's... Let's imagine um, that you are on a team fight. You're a support mesmer of some kind. You're in a team fight. You go on your rifle. You fire out a portal, and then that allows an ally to reinforce to you much quicker to you know get into that team fight. In some of these PvP scenarios, that amount of time, you know, let's say five to ten seconds of movement, that can make or break an encounter and really speed up your rotations and speed up your ability to control the map and so on. That type of effect is really good. The question is, you know, is more so, is there going to be a build that is going to be capable of using this? Like, that's the really big question. Heal Chrono or some kind of more semi-support oriented chrono it's kind of been a thing in pvp not exactly this type of build it's been more of like almost a hybrid it's been like a duelist build that also has a lot of value in the team fight uh simultaneously by dropping down its healing wells and having some supportive wells we have seen builds like that could you fit rifle on that somehow I think it's a bit tricky like weapons um are very competitive or in mesmer in my opinion for um for pvp and you do have to give up an entire set this is not like an offhand that you can take to take the portal you actually have to commit an entire weapon set and that is very competitive on a lot of builds for sure funnily enough i think it's actually kind of the same in pve weapons are pretty damn competitive on heal mesmer right scepter shield great set tankiness good boon access, healing with the clone generation on the main hand, and staff is also really good because it has solid clone generation and good boon access now with Chaos Storm and the Chaos Armor that interacts with the Chaos trait line to apply that regeneration, of course, and just the random boons that you get from Chaos Armor. So weapons are actually very competitive, and I could actually see it going both ways and maybe even being situational. Sometimes maybe you're going to go with Scepter Shield and then Rifle. Maybe you would go Rifle and then Staff as well. It, it might be situational, and again, and it's highly going to come down to the numbers. I think um, 
it's almost too early to predict now. If the chaos numbers are insane, so like your regen uptime is super free and your prot uptime is super free and your might uptime is super free because of rifle, then I could see you going, oh, well, maybe I don't really need to have, um, you know, I don't really need to have uh, any of those weapons really. And you know, like you, you, the weapon set is free, right? You can take whatever you want, right? But if that's weaker, then you might go, well, if I need might, then I might want to go ahead and have shield, right? Because shield's got that extra might generation, right? It really depends pretty situational pretty damn situational the thing about this uh portal thing here as well and this will probably um hamper its usability in pug groups is that this is kind of very reliant on communication because don't worry random mesmers aren't going to be able to like randomly port you to them like at will you have to take the portal right it opens a little portal and then you have to take it so Honestly, in a lot of situations, I feel like this is going to be a, an ability that you're going to go, Oh, guys, I'm going to heal Chrono. Let's go. I'm going to rescue that guy. Yeah. Uh, and then they're going to completely ignore it. <laughs> They're going to completely ignore it. So maybe you have to ping that you're using the skill if you're in a pug. But being on voice, that's where a skill like this is really going to come into its own, of course. Because then you can go, all right, I'm going to port you, right? Or you can even plan ahead. You go like, oh, yeah, I've got the bomb. Uh, let's say on Doom, right? Someone's running out with a bomb. You can say, I'm going to port you back. There's going to be a portal for you. Uh, to come back and that's where this ability can really shine giving you that dps uptime giving you that safety of getting back to the group uh just barely in time uh, and giving you some flexibility on how you can approach various mechanics in pve uh could definitely be interesting cooldown here is relevant too like it, this quite possibly will have a short cooldown um weapon skills typically don't go super long um so i'm thinking this could be a 30 second cooldown uh, I could see them making it less, even, uh, to be honest, um, because of the, kind of using it for that support element. This might have, yeah, yeah, this could be, uh, it could be like t anywhere in the range of 20 seconds to 40 seconds is what I'd expect this to be at. They're not going to go like a mega long cooldown skill. The only class they do that on would be Elementalist, because Elementalist has loads of other abilities that you can rotate in. That's why, you know, you got Obsidian Flesh, right? It's like a very long cooldown. That's also a very powerful effect, right? So, yeah, it's going to have a long cooldown. Um, but yeah. It's big. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's a good point for the chat. It is very good for our jumping puzzle mesmer helpers, right? You can like be portaling people up like crazy with this thing. The combo portal. We absolutely love to see that. Fantastic. Very, very good stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think this is actually pretty exciting. Um, definitely one that I'd like to see more fleshed out. And I will actually point out a couple of things. The phantasm skill is very important uh, here with this. Very, very important indeed. Like, is it going to do damage? Is it going to give boons? Is it going to heal in some way? Uh, super important. We also don't know the full toolkit, the auto attack. Auto attack on support builds. Oh, this sounds really weird. Auto attack is very relevant. Like, support builds that have good autos, usually pretty good. Because you have that constant value. It's why Mechanist auto attack with the barrier was so good. It's why Scepter with the barrier on the auto attack on Revenant is going to be so good. That constant, consistent value is really good. And if Rifle has that, that's going to be certainly great for PvE at the very least. The Phantasm is also very relevant. Again, because you can reset that with your Signet of the Ether. You can kind of really double down on that if it's going to deliver you that huge amount of value. Um, you might not end up going with that. Honestly, a lot of heal chrono heal skills are honestly quite mediocre. You might go, oh, but just take the healing well. Yeah, the healing well is good. It has a massive heal, but it's on a delay, right? Um, it's... Mm -hmm. It's whatever. I think you're surprisingly flexible there. And of course, maybe this has some DPS potential too. Again, I am expecting a lot of these weapons to at least have pretty passable damage um, or at least work if you commit to them. It doesn't really look at, we don't really know if it's going to be a power or condi focused weapon in terms of its damage. Uh, could be both, right? Who knows? Maybe it's like a support damage power condi weapon. Who knows? A little bit of everything, I suppose in that regard. And of course, we also don't know the remaining two skill, which is likely going to be a short cooldown ability. I'd probably say it's going to be a bit support oriented to kind of complement the overall set because we actually have one um, weapon skill here dedicated to kind of utility, right? It does have that flip skill with the barrier so you have got that going on um and of course the third skill is also a flip skill because it can either give boons or it can heal and it can also do damage as well so there's, there's a lot of variety going on there 
uh, with this setup. So a lot of unanswered questions, and I think to really give the, the full perspective, we are in fact going to have to wait here. Uh, this is definitely one of those weapons, similar to Warrior, where I really wish we'd seen like one more skill. Like one more skill for like could have given us a, a lot more to chew on. Whereas here, I, I'm, I'm well, maybe that's the point. I'm feeling very teased right now, you know? Uh, I, I, you know, I want, I want more. I want to see more. Definitely rehyped to try out um, the heal chrono build. Even without the rifle, I think that ability is going to be great. Um, so, you know, that's good news, I guess, for any heal chrono enjoyers. This might push it just a little bit further up to the next level of a really fun build to play. Like, abilities like this, even if they don't end up game changing, it's always going to be... Uh, a lot of fun, right? This is going to be a really fun skill to use, even if it isn't, like, mega broken uh, from a PvE perspective. Like, uh, you know, if it worked on downstate players, this would be disgustingly broken, especially in PvP and World vs. World. That's probably why it doesn't, okay? Uh, because, yeah, then it would be, like, an insane... Uh, an insane ability. Uh, a disgusting skill. Uh, remove that from the game immediately, please. But... It's going to be good content. We also have to see the Mirage Ambush skill. There could be some potential for this to fit in on Mirage too. Um, in some way. Like maybe on a DPS Mirage. Maybe on Heal Mirage. Uh, yeah, not sure about that one. Uh, but we, <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be content. It'll definitely be some content there. But anyway, that's going to be it for Rifle Mesmer. Okay, a lot of mysteries still here. I guess that's fitting to the theme of the Mesmer, I suppose. But anyway... We are done for today. Another another day, another weapon reveal, gamers. Come back tomorrow for more weapon reveal gaming here on this channel, here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Okay, do you think this is good? Do you think it's complete trash? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think of the fashion they picked? I think they're doing a pretty good job. That's the most important thing here, indeed. Rifle will open support options for Mesmers and provide interesting decision points for players in moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. I certainly hope so. Very exciting times ahead for our support Mesmer gamers. That is it. Thanks for watching. And of course, watch the live stream as well. All that kind of good stuff. I'm out. I'm done. That's it for today. Boom!